<laughs> Hello guys and shit game plays and welcome to my channel. I'm Fabio Pisco by the way, if you didn't know. <laughs> and today I'm making a video about the 24.8.1 drivers because lots of people in that comment section of the video that I made, the review that I made, people are still asking the same question. Where's AFMF2? If I install this driver, do I have AFMF2? I installed the driver and I don't have AFMF2. And due to all these questions, I decided to make a video, a short video for you guys to understand how these drivers work for now. So AFMF2, if you don't know what it is, it is AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2 and it has been released like two months ago, something like that, maybe. And it is basically frame generation on driver level. We have, and we do have AFMF1, but AFMF2 improves massively upon AFMF1, having at the same time better quality and lower latency that the, than the previous version. And in terms of latency, the decrease is just insane. We went from, let's say, 30 milliseconds, 20 something milliseconds in some cases, to eight milliseconds. So they, the decrease in terms of latency is huge and that's why most people are using it and at the same time you don't need to have it implemented in the game it works with every single game full screen mode windowed mode whatever oh and by the way if you want to help my channel that the channel well take a look at the sponsor GVG More! Bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. And this is mostly the reason why people are asking for AFMF2 on the official drivers. But if you weren't here by the time that AFMF1 was released, we did have separate drivers at the same time. We had the official drivers and then we have the AFMF2 drivers. And it is exactly the same for AFMF2. And AMD does that in order to have uh, for example, one version with the official drivers, the more stable version, let's say that, while at the same time they are tweaking AFMF2. Because yes, AFMF2, it's not on its final form like Freezer uh, or Frieza. And yeah, they are still improving it and they will most likely release it officially and better than it is right now uh, in the next couple of months. And I believe that we're gonna have like one or two more versions of the AFMF2 drivers uh, before we get an official implementation on the official driver. So for now, for example, you'll have the 24.9.1 drivers that won't have a FMF2 as well, or at least they are not supposed to. I don't really know if they will implement it, but I guess not. But for now, if you want to use a FMF2, you need to download the technical preview drivers. If you download 20, 24.8.1, 24.7.1, 24.6.1, you won't have a FMF2. A FMF1 will be presented, but a FMF2 is only on those technical preview drivers that you can get with a link in the description. And by the way, AFMF2 works at least with uh, with the RX 6000 series and 7000 series, RDNA2 and RDNA3. Everything just works. Everything just works. Everything just works. It just works. Everything just works. So if you really want AFMF2 for your gameplays, for your gaming sessions, you need to install those technical preview drivers. Otherwise, you'll only be presented with AFMF1. And of course, if you want to know how AFMF2 works, if it works well or not, how to make it work properly, you have this video passing right now on the screen where I tested AFMF2 and I was very, very surprised because comparing to, um, for example, to AFMF1, lossless scaling was much better, but comparing to even a beta version, which is this that we have right now, a beta version of AFMF2, lossless scaling might have better quality overall, a bit better quality, but in terms of of latency AFMF2 is just working perfectly very very low latency for people that are more latency sensitive comparing lossless scaling versus AFMF2 they surely need to go to AFMF2 if you are one of those people that don't really care much about the latency you do care but not that much uh, and you prefer better quality in frame generation then lossless scaling is the way to go but still AFMF2 is a pretty good improvement from AFMF1 and I still believe that it will get better with time before getting implemented in the official drivers. And well guys, that's all for this video, a very short video and today we're gonna have another video I believe or at least tomorrow uh, where I'm gonna test GeForce now because yeah, 
I, I, I actually I was actually handled um, a little card with three months of GeForce uh, GeForce Now Ultimate, and I tested it with my laptop, and I must say that it's pretty damn impressive. In 2024, GeForce Now is pretty damn impressive, even in terms of cost performance. From what you, what you get from the price that you pay, it is pretty nice. And well, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video, and of course, leave your comment in the comment section. Uh, if you didn't know this, well, now you do. It's just a video, um, me basically uh, showing you how things work. <laughs> Once again, see you in the next video, guys. Cheers.